This battery has a secret. Now, when I built my ambulance, I knew I did not want to use lead acid. Lead acid is a tried and true, it's a tested battery format. They've been around since like 1901, but they're low on capacity. They, they just don't have a lot of usable capacity when you compare them to a more modern solution. Not this exact form factor, but this is a lithium ion module out of an EV, electric vehicle. The downsides are these are dangerous. If you overcharge them, they will catch fire. They'll heat up and they'll catch fire. Secondly, they don't like being too hot and they definitely don't like you to try to charge them when they are too cold. But if they're frozen and you try to apply a charging current to this battery, crystals form inside the lithium modules and it will destroy the battery. So they require a lot of babysitting, a lot of monitoring, a lot of tending to, to get the best out of them. See the Timgo, it has built-in monitoring. There's a BMS in this, a battery management system that is connected to the eight cells, the the lithium iron phosphate prismatic cells in this box. And it's constantly monitoring them for voltage, for temperature, for overcharging and undercharging. It's, it's watching them continuously to make sure that you don't hurt them and they don't hurt you. And the secret that this box contains is that it is self-heating. There are heating pads on the ends and wedge in the middle of all the cells. And if the BMS detects a temperature that is below freezing and you try to charge this battery, it says, whoa, 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 I gotta heat things up first. And it will warm things up before it starts to charge. I'm really stoked about that feature because I did a lot of winter camping. I lived in my ambulance during one of the coldest winters Missouri and Kansas has ever experienced. It was like negative 30 wind chill. One of my biggest fears was my lithium ion modules, which they were out of a Tesla, different form factor, but you know, similar setup. If they froze and I tried to charge them, I would destroy them. If I had a setup like this, I could have slept easy knowing my batteries were gonna be okay.